today I'm painting with just one single color of encaustic paint and titanium white encaustic paint. And this is really a great exercise uh, for exploring with encaustic in general. And it's also awesome to get started if you're just starting out um, gathering your colorants. The most common question I usually get is about the expense of the encaustic paints. They are pretty pricey and uh, with this project you can just walk into the art store and get one single color of encaustic paint. Choose your favorite color uh, and, and, and titanium white or any sort of white. And by using just this one single color, your favorite color, you're ready to start exploring with layers uh, in your encaustic painting and it's also a great exercise for uh, learning shading with your encaustic colors. And here I'm starting out with just a phthalo blue and each time I'm putting it directly, melting it directly on my heat source and just adding white. Each time I'm adding white to a, a small section on my heat source and making that blue just lighter and lighter as I go. And here on my second piece, I'm going to be working with a black and white and uh, do uh, different shades of gray throughout the piece. And I always work on two to three pieces as I go uh, to give the other pieces a chance to cool down in between layers. same process as the first piece where I'm using just the black and the white and I'm using the white to make the black a shade lighter of gray each time as I go in random abstract patterns uh, throughout the piece. This is another great loosening up exercise. It's a very intuitive process uh, with no real pattern in mind. For me, it's almost like figuring out uh, puzzle pieces, uh, keeping in mind the balance of darks and lights and composition of the overall piece. And after I fuse my first initial layer and let it cool, then I can go back in and add additional layers of lights over darks and darks over lights. And this adds uh, more depth to the painting and uh, also more interest to the overall composition. And here I'm adding my very lightest shade or tone of blue here as the focal point of the piece. And this is where your eye is going to be drawn to. Uh, the lightest place on the painting and uh, now I'm going ahead and fusing the second layer with the torch. original color was. I can go ahead and um, add darker shades as well over the light. 
And to add some more depth and dimension to these pieces, I'm going to incise some lines just with a clay stylus, clay tool stylus. And then I'm going to go ahead and add some oil paint stick to highlight the incised lines. If you don't have an oil paint stick, then you can put some uh, white or black oil paint out on a paper towel overnight to soak up the linseed oil and then use that in, size, in your incised lines as well. And to remove this, uh, and a really creamy one, you can just simply use a baby wipe. Uh, if you have one that has a little less oil in it, then you can use some uh, vegetable oil or baby oil to get uh, most of the oil stick back off and just leave the colorant in the inside lines. Thank you.